Yeah, I was a police officer for 23 years. Yeah, going from being a police officer into an actor, you know, it was a massive change of career. Granite Harbour is about a team of detectives working in Aberdeen. Davis Lindo comes from a commonality scheme from Jamaica and he's stationed um, in Aberdeen. So he has to fit in to, to the team that's already, you know, sort of fairly solid. Um, so it's really about his journey from coming from a Commonwealth country into the Scottish police, how he fits in, how we all get together and have our own jobs just to talk, try and solve the murder. It's, it's got a few twists and turns actually, which is nice. So you're not entirely sure which way it's going to go. So it, it keeps you uh, hopefully intrigued. I play Monty. So I'm Detective Sergeant Simone Montrose, known as Monty. And she's kind of the, the person within the team that sort of holds everyone together. She's the one that likes to sort of be the analyst. She's fairly data driven. She doesn't really get involved in office politics. She's kind of, that sort of steadfast person really within a team that sort of, yeah, just, it's got her head screwed on. In a way, a little way, sort of mothers Lindo uh, a little bit, you know, she, she quite sort of, she wants to look after him a little bit, I think. This is your case tab. It's like a digital case file, statements, photos, whatever. What ends up on there? It's really easy, a four year old could use it. Yeah, I was a police officer for 23 years and during that time, I had a very varied career, massively varied career, actually. So people do say to me, it must be easy then playing a police officer. But when they're not your own words, it's, it doesn't, it's not quite like that. But it allowed me to really understand my character, to really, really know where she was going. You know, I could picture the scenes. You know, I knew what the inside of a police station looked like. I, you know, I knew what it was like to deal with um, a murder so it, it's kind of it yeah it, it sort of helped in a way to sort of round my character off but being a police officer for 23 years and then acting as a police officer it's it is you know different obviously but I've just kind of played myself um, apart from I'm not analytical or data driven um, but other than that I've really just played myself as Monty so in that sense it was a great role for me yeah going from being a police officer into an actor, you know, it was a massive change of career. I was actually medically retired after 23 years. I made an arrest that didn't come out in my favour, let's say. I ended up having five operations on my leg and a total knee replacement was one of them. So it ended my career and I was really quite disappointed to leave. I, I liked being a police officer, but 23 years, you know, gave it a good bash and I left and I didn't really know what to do with my life. You know, I was too young to retire fully. And I'd always wanted to be an actor as a child, but didn't really know, you know, really what to do, how to approach it, that sort of thing. I was quite shy and introverted. So in 2019, I, I did my very first acting course. And then I did some workshops and had a, I still have an acting coach now. And obviously the pandemic hit, but it, 2020 gave me the opportunity to really, really study it, you know, and, and uh, learn some great things. And then I auditioned for Granite Harbour in February of this year, um, and I got Monty, so yeah, super chuffed. I loved Aberdeen, actually. I, I thought it was a really nice place. I kind of feel like the Scots are really different to the English, they're, they're like really friendly. <laughs> and. I'm not saying that the English aren't friendly, but there's a, a real marked difference when you come to Scotland and um, people talk to you, which is lovely. But uh, yeah, Aberdeen, I, I really liked Aberdeen. I like the granite, hence granite. Harbour.